Hey everybody, um, gonna do a little demonstration on making some uh, training poppers for your dogs. So I'm using some old um, reused shell hulls from uh, trap shooting. So I got some Remington Gun Club, um, some uh, Winchester Light 8s, and some double A's. I'm using a mech um, reloader to do this. Um, so what I'm using is gonna be some red dot um, gunpowder, and I'm using some uncooked flaxseed. So the flaxseed is just going to be your buffer in there. And um, I'm going to be using some clay busters, one and an eighth inch, I'm uh, sorry, one and an eighth ounce wads. And uh, I got some uh, Winchester uh, 209 primers. So if you have ones or hulls that don't close all the way with this setup, um, you can just seat a primer if your primer will seat and um, just close it. So I'll show you how to do that. That'll make a light hit or a light bang. Um, these are pretty loud um, and they have a projectile. This one has a projectile that's gonna come out of it. Nothing to be toying around with. It's not a game, it's not a toy. Um, this one is just gonna blow air and uh, possibly a little bit of heat. Um, but again, I'm not showing you how to make toys here. Don't think this is something you wanna be playing around with. This is something that you're gonna use just like you would any other firearm or any other um, ammunition. So um, be very safe with it. So <clears throat> like I said, I'm using a mech operator here. Um, the, um, the, the bar I'm using is a 302. I obviously can't tell you what that bushing is because I'm not going to pull this whole thing apart again. Um, and I do have the pressure set at 30. So let me just show you real quick an example. I'm going to use a Winchester Light 8 hull. So I'm going to take out the, um, the current primer, drop in the new primer. Okay. So you can see on here, got a new primer and it's empty. So now either I could just choose to close this um, so it closes up like this and just use it as a primer popper, um, 209 primer popper, just like you'd have with your primer guns. Um, or I'm going to make this uh, much louder for maybe a hunt test or field. So what I'll do now is I'm going to drop her into the, into the next spot, close it up. I'm going to drop in some uh, gunpowder, bring it up, put in my, uh, my wad there, close her down, drop the flax seed in. So now I got flax seed inside there, pre-cramp, oops, and final cramp. So closes up nice like that. Um, like I said, if you have one, if I do these, they're going to in-cave. Let me just show you one so you kind of see what, what happens. I don't like this because the uh, flax seed and everything can just come out. If you don't put the flax seed in there, you could have some problems shooting it. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it makes like a hissing noise because you don't have enough enough in there. Now, if you want to hand pour the flax seed in there, you'd be okay to do that too. So let me just throw in. A, again, I'm using a one and an eighth inch ounce, a one and an eighth ounce um, wad. So you can see it's already dropped way below um, where we want it to be. So when I crimp it, it crimps not not no bueno no bueno crimping so for these these brands i just uh or other ones that don't crimp right for me on this setup um because these things are free when you go shoot some trap i just then skip the middle middle part and just pre-crimp and crimp nice and easy nice little primer popper um these i think are nicer when you're training your gun dog for uh, upland or duck hunting yeah you could have somebody out there throw a bird and shoot a shoot a blank and you could hold a, a fake gun but i really think it's nice to have my dog next to me and actually yell out oh coming in birds coming in right all the excitement make sure that dog is steady you know shoot as somebody throws a throws a bumper or throws a, a dead duck out for you shooting one of these the dog's going to completely think you're in a hunting situation that dog needs to be steady so um just another way for you to do it. These are cheap to make. Um, this mech thing you can find on Facebook or Amazon or um, shoot, just about anywhere. New, you're gonna pay probably about three, 400 bucks for it. I picked this up for 125 bucks on Facebook used. So, I mean, it was worth its weight right in gold there. So these probably cost me all said and done, six cents uh, in, in materials with the hulls being free. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, any questions, put them down in the comments. Other than that, shoot straight. Have a good one.